Wes. And I'm Huck. And this is the Huck, Huck and Wes, and Wes show. show. So, alright, Chaz. Last week we had an awesome discussion of fatherhood and survival. Right. Um, what's this week's topic? How there's no apple cider in my cup. <laughs> yeah, there's no apple cider in the cup that says chocolate on it. So that, I, thought, I thought our assistants were going to get us apple cider. Yeah, we need new assistants, I guess. Definitely. But, um, so anyhow, what's our, uh, what's our topic this week? Alright, so the topic this week is we were thinking top three something, right? So what we came up with is top three nostalgic movies. Yes. All right, so these are movies, add a little bit of flavor to that, right? Right, so the, yeah, there's mo- these are basically movies that um, when you think of them or when you see them on TV or you watch them at home or on Netflix or whatever, they make you kind of reminisce and think about the past, your childhood, and you know how it kind of maybe brought back some memories and stories of, of what you used to do when you watched that movie. I well, I don't want to know what you did when you watched some movies. <laughs> I hope but, it wasn't horror movies or anything like that. Okay, right. so um, you go first. All right, so we have not looked at one another's list, so we have no idea what I'm movies very that interested in we this. have picked. So my, um, I'm going to start with movie number three. I'm going to work my way backwards okay. to my okay. number one. That's, I'm going to do the same thing. But um, movie number three for me was Top Gun. Okay, I can see that. All right, and the reason it was Top Gun was because uh, ever since I saw that movie, like every man ever to have seen that movie wanted to be a pilot, uh, an Air Force pilot. Yes. And get into it. And then you also wanted to play volleyball at the sure. I just like the song. Which one? You know, I learned how to play that in the car. What about Highway to the Danger? Yeah, that was pretty good. Too. What about every single song in that movie? Every single song in that movie. And then you also want to call all of your friends a goose. <laughs> right. If you want to have like different, like, hey, Maverick. Right, exactly. And or so it actually got to the point when I was in college. Magic Mike. No, no, that's a, that's a different show. <laughs> oh, right. That is not established because I haven't seen it. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, it actually got to the point where my friends and I in college actually had dog tags made and we went outside and played volleyball with dog tags and shorts because we wanted to be like, using everything. It's a great story. So, yes, so my number three was top one. What's your number three? Alright, but I'm going to look. I'm not looking. I'm so paranoid he's going to look. Alright, my number three. Okay. I had to go Disney on this. Alright, I like it already. Sword in the Stone. Okay, Sword in the Stone. I loved Sword in the Stone when I was a kid. I loved it. Alright, well, what did you love about it? I, it could relate to me because I was the reject. Oh, I thought you said you were the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I was the wizard. No, I was, I, no, it was like, okay. it's the story of like this kid who has like, is always picked on and stuff like that. And then he turns out to be the king. But I was like, I want to be the king. And but you're not a reject either. Right? Like, you're, right, you're an accepted. Which is number two? I'm interested. All right. I want to see if we have any of the same ones. <laughs> we we may or may not. I don't know. I don't know. Right. So number two for me. All right. On my list is Home Alone one and two. No, whoa, 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 whoa. no, you can't do that. It's the book. Okay, fine. If I had to just pick one, it'd be Home Alone one. Okay. Why did you like I See, I didn't pick Home Alone. I thought of it, but I didn't pick it. See, now for me, every time I watch that movie, it reminds me of trying to set traps throughout my house. Um, and how I, well did that happen? Well, I actually got my sister. She snuck into my room. I set up a big rubber band trap and snapped her in the leg. She awesome. cried and I got grounded. You were that kid. I was totally that kid. And I even had, like, you know how, remember how he, like, draws out the map of the house? With all the different traps on it, out of marker, totally did that. Um, See, I was too practical because the whole the whole scene where he's got the TV and he's like playing the the movie, right? And it's like, you know, what, what was the what was the? Um, it was um, filthy animal. Can you filthy, filthy animal? <laughs> right. That whole thing, I was like, there's no way he knows this movie good enough. To be like, the guy's gonna say this, and then I'm gonna fast forward three seconds and then play here. And he's no, that's but you could much relate more. to being a kid who turns into a fish, a bird, and pulls a sword out of his thing. But yeah, who couldn't? But you can't relate to a kid who watches this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not practical. <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay, alright, alright. All right. All right. So what's your number two? My number two. Okay, this, this is a good one. Alright. I've seen this movie at least a hundred times. Okay. Short Circuit. 
Okay, all right. <laughs> I loved that movie. Short Circuit did make my list. <laughs> it didn't make it that wasn't your number one. No, no, no. Okay, so what about Short Circuit? I mean, what was it? I loved technology. I was always, I was a geek. I was already a reject, right? Okay. Right. So I was King Arthur, but I liked technology. And Short Circuit was just so cool to me. Like, they could do all that stuff, and Johnny Five is alive, and all that kind of stuff. And how he triumphed in the end. But they made a Short Circuit too, which sucked. Yeah, but I the, love short circuits. The second ones are never always as good as the first ones, unless it's Pokemon. Yes. Or Star Wars, as it gets progressive. Well, yeah, but you can't even say Star Wars because it was four, five, and six. They were always And well, Star Trek. Well, Star the new Trek, Star Trek is good. Yeah, Star Trek, no. Star Trek 3, Search for Spock, is the best. I would agree with that. And Search for 1 sucked. Like, <laughs> sucked bad. Yeah, I'll agree with that as well. But any John Tesha. Had to like Shaq. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, alright. My number one uh, reminiscent movie. Alright. Um, I actually tweeted out that I watched it this week. You're gonna use one of them. I am. And that movie is The Sandlot. I actually wrote down in Cran my list of movies because I'm not as technologically advanced right. as um, Mr. Wiss over Short here. Circuit. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, the Sandlot. I mean, come on. Who hasn't played baseball as a kid? And then while you're playing baseball, you pretend you're Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Or, you know, call one of your friends Smalls. Or quote any line from that movie. All right. Everyone quotes lines from that movie. I will give you that, but I can count on one hand how many times I've seen it. Really? I, if I had ten hands, I could count on one. Yes. <laughs> all right, okay. my top, my top. All right, one. you're number one. Okay, top one has a has it's it's kind of similar, but not quite. All okay. right, let's see. Right. Can you guess it? Well, because that's kind of something I'm thinking. It's a sports movie. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, do you enjoy the underdogs? So I'm gonna go with Rudy. Oh, you know what? Rudy just missed it. Okay. Just missed the top spot. All right. Well, so what's your number one? My number one. Is Field of Dreams. Oh. See now, the only thing that was kind of about that movie that freaked me out. Well, number one, James Earl Jones is a doctor, and also Darth Vader. Right. So this kind of like, is he gonna pull a lightsaber out of his medicine bag, or is he gonna pull like a <laughs> is he gonna chop my hand, hand off? off, or is he gonna? Right. And then he's gonna tell you that he's actually your father, when in fact it's kind of weird because they don't look oh. alike. If you know Spoiler what I mean. alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Darth Vader's Luke's father. Oh, I thought Sorry. you were going to say James Earl Jones was... Pulls out a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> was um, the field's father. So, no, no, no. okay. So, anyhow. All right. But, so, what but, about the movie? Explain it to me. All right. So, listen. Of all the movies of when we were growing up... Okay. That was the movie that was, like, it was okay to cry at. Like, it was okay to, like... Okay. So, here's a question. You bring okay. that up. Is it okay to cry at that? It was okay to cry at that. All right. How many movies have you cried during in your life? Oh, well, you're asking the wrong guy. You cry. I'm, I'm a crier. Crazy. Okay. I'm, I'm, not a cry, I'm a crier. I'm not as much of a crier when it comes to movies. Um, so, there's only two movies in my life that have ever made me cry. Two? Yes. Two. Can I guess? Do you think you can guess those I think two I can movies? guess. Um, Passion of the Christ. No. Darn because it. I knew the Come ending. On. I knew the ending. I knew the ending. <laughs> I knew the ending. But then there's nothing oh, about it. terrible. Okay. Alright. Um. Uh. Uh. Mighty Ducks. No, but that one was like one of those inspirational. Old Yellers. No. I'm who who didn't try the knuckle puck? Alright, no. Um. Alright, so number one movie to make me cry was Simon Birch. Never you seen, ever it. seen it. Never okay, seen it. Okay, as a man, you need to watch Simon Birch and make you cry. I don't care how tough you are. Um. Movie number two that made me cry. And I'm kind of embarrassed about this one because looking back at it now, it's really corny that I cried. But I definitely cheered up during Freedom Riders when the little like um, chubby guy was like, "You're this class is my family and stuff." I, I know, just I knew what you're talking. Cried. Hilary Swank, she's a teacher, takes like a class of misfits. No. Turns him into like Mark Twain. This is not a movie. It is a movie called Freedom Riders. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's okay, not ladies and gentlemen. Hit us up on Twitter and prove it to my friend <laughs> no, Wiss here. It's that not a movie. It is, in fact, a movie, and it is a movie that may make him cry. It's not a movie. No, you're allowed, as a guy, you're allowed to cry at Rudy. Okay. Field of Dreams. 
When the girl falls off the bleachers and like no, chokes. No, at the game. end when they're playing catch. Oh, okay. Hey, Dad, I could cry right now. Hey, I could cry right now. Hey, like, Dad, throw the ball. You want to have a catch? Oh, come on. What if you've been like? Well, what if you've been like? No, son. I don't. I only play catch with pro ball players. So that would be terrible. That would be horrible. I mean, never become a director. That would have been awesome. That would have that would turned a drama into a comedy instantly. <laughs> Dad, you want to play catch? All right, so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, top three nostalgia movies. Uh, you can hit up hit us up on Twitter at at Huff and Wes. Uh, we got a Facebook page now. We got an Instagram page. Um, so we want to hear what are your top three most nostalgic movies of all time. And with that, we bid you adieu. Good night, and bon farewell.